Mr. President, now that Prime Minister Imran Khan has invited UN observers to Pakistan to verify that there are no militant organizations in Pakistan, the world will hold him to that promise. Here are a few questions that Pakistan can respond to as a precursor to the proposed verification. Can Pakistan confirm the fact that it is home to 130 UN-designated terrorists and 25 terrorist entities listed by the UN as of today? Will Pakistan acknowledge that it is the only government in the world that provides pension to an individual listed by the UN in the Al-Qaeda and Daesh sanctions list? Can Pakistan explain why, here in New York, its premier bank, the Habib Bank, had to shut shop after it was fined millions of dollars over terror financing? Will Pakistan deny that the Financial Action Task Force has put the country on notice for its violations of more than 20 of the 27 key parameters? And finally, would Prime Minister Khan deny to the city of New York that he was an open defender of Osama bin Laden. Mr. President, having